Democrats, there's still there's still a million people running for president. Joe Biden, he uh, there was a, a piece on he has a black team. You has a there was a whole group a write up about the you know the black people that are working for uh, Mr. Biden, mm-hmm. you know, and and they're trying. They need the Democrats need to get you know the black vote. They need to get it to like close to Obama levels of voting to even have a chance, you know, against Trump. Mm-hmm. Um, but Biden's still holding strong, man. He's holding strong. Yeah, he gonna hold strong. That's what he's known for. <laughs> <laughs> Creepy Joe, grabber Joe. <laughs> <laughs> he's known for holding on the strong to any type of child or woman. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know it, it kills me when people head to the internet and call me a so-called coon while these people you know walk around with the same people that uh voted for the 94 crime bill yeah Locked and up. that's a big thing man um uh, people are they, they're going right for that 94 crime bill you know that's that's how they're going to get bought, get buying out the paint. You know, um, and I'm like, man, what? <laughs> they, they they'll not stop blaming people for this '94 crime. And you know what cracks me up? I see the conservative side talking about, oh man, he was he voted for the '94 crime, '94 crime. I was like, so did you, dude? I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> he totally forgot he was racist. <laughs> <laughs> he been with Obama so long. <laughs> Yo, but didn't um Clarence Thomas go off on him in Congress? Yeah, yeah, that was the, that was during the um the hearings, man. You know, yo Joe was getting on his ass, man. They tried to get, they tried, they was trying to get Clarence out of there, man. They was just talking disrespectful to him, man. That was real crazy. Joe Biden has a history of lynching niggas. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, like he 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 really attempted to 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 lynch my man Clarence Thomas on these false allegations, the same false allegations that they put on our president, Mister Four Five Donald J. Trump. Indeed, indeed. You know what I'm saying, yeah, oh, <laughs> yeah, but that's about it. You know, we're still trying to get Tulsi up there, man. Uh, Yang uh, Yang Gang is still at one percent, but he's going to be in the debates. Yeah, I think he's in the in the top ten. I think he's tenth from the the, the poll I saw. Um, Buttigieg, was, I think he's like f- fourth. I might be saying his name wrong, or anyway. But they had on Fox, man. Fox gave him a standing ovation, man. Yeah, sweet Pete. <laughs> <laughs> Fox gave uh, uh, Buttigieg. Uh, Buttigieg. I call yeah, him Buttigieg. Ovation. His name Buddha Gag Gag. <laughs> <laughs> and you know the thing that kills me? Nobody's I mean, we never know anything about his policies or anything like that, man. He's a goddamn, he's a neocon, man. He, just, <laughs> mm-hmm. he wants all the war. You know, he went to Afghanistan. He still wants them over there. Nah, man. This guy's a piece of work, man. <laughs> so somebody in the chat, DJ Eli said it's Tulsi single. <laughs> 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 yeah, Tosi to me, Tosi looked like she might be LGBT. Bro. Oh, she got a little stud in her. <laughs> she got a little stud in her. Come on, man. Just cut it out, man. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> not Tosi, not the left bay. Not the left bay is not a stud, man. She's a happily married woman. Uh-huh. Somebody in chat says she married. <laughs> Yeah, Tulsi 2020 is the wave right now, bro. Yeah. This is, for anybody tuning in, this is HBO-type humor from the 90s, from the 80s. So you better make sure the kids is in the bed. 